Hey guys, today we're trying Pine, as requested by Patreon subscriber Havi. I've been looking forward to this one for a bit. Some kind of open world RPG thing. Look at those strange animals right off the bat. It's a nice landscape. Oh, like right by the eye, there's like a weird alligator dinosaur man thing. As raids on especially larger villages can be quite tough, you can try influencing that, that village or raiding or the raiding village beforehand to turn the odds in your favor. Those raids. Villages raid each other. Meeting a species or critter will make them appear in your glossary. Well, this looks like a fair amount of work has gone into it. Oh, right. I'm playing with a controller. Wait. Settings? Options. There we go. Come on, it's in here somewhere. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. There's no looking version? Why would there not be a look inversion? Maybe it's all the way over here? Oh god, what have I done? Okay, this... this... is... this could be better. <laughs> this interface. Switch with you what oh oh that's the inversion icon why would the okay am i okay i'm good okay what a what a weird way to express that information in the uh in the interface design all right whoa an aggressive, aggressive camera, too. Alright, well, we just gotta do a little tweaking. Still, game seems pretty. I find it, I find it kind of crazy just how quickly and, like, the entire indie market's just gone completely out of hand, and, like, there's just this, an astonishing number of games all the time for... Oh, God. I guess this is how I do it? I guess. Sorry if I'm just caught off guard. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. <laughs> what a what a way to express that information. I was just saying, like looking at the visuals and that cutscene and stuff, like the game seems relatively promising, and I'm kind of astonished by just how rapidly so many games come out that in another world I might check out and spend more time with. But my God, one of these comes out every thirty seconds. Oh, I can't wait for today's ceremony. Nothing is more beautiful than seeing our village thrive and being together for something fun. Only a few mo more hours. The B is run. Y is jump. Ah, 
you. Thought to be rich. Ah, Hoot Q, there you are. We um we are almost done with the preparations. Ilma and Edwin asked for some more resources for the treehouse. I would ask your brother, but I can't find him anywhere. Even more resources? Yes, yes, not sure what exactly, but please go see them. Off you go. I'm gonna go ahead and sprint towards the objectives for a bit, just to get the gameplay started. Right on time, Hugh. We wanted to call the treehouse done, but the rocks it stands on are so brittle. We wanted to consult the, with Gary, but he wouldn't listen. Could you get us more stiff rope and stuff cloth for some extra fortifications? Stiff rope and stuff cloth. Gary should be able to help you with the merry wood and stiff rope. I believe Luya was folding some stuff cloth near the washing pot. On it. All right. Oh, down here it looks like. I don't think me turning down the sensitivity actually worked. Maybe I didn't do it correctly. Because the, the camera flails. You a bit busy. Can I help you? Uh, Ilma and, Il and Aidwin need some more stiff rope to fortify the house. Even more? Stiff rope doesn't grow on tr Well, you know what I mean. The tree house is not stable enough, they said. Nonsense. Our houses are as strong as ever. <laughs> if they assist. I'm much too busy preparing for the ceremony. But you can use the merry wood in the crate to make some stiff rope yourself. Tell them this should definitely do it. Can't wait for today's celebrations. You received an idea. These are concepts of items you can create yourself. Open your menu at the start and go to the crafting tab to craft ideas. Crafting tab. Unpin favorite cancel. How do I make it though? Oh, creates over. Th okay, over there is X. Okay. I have my stiff rope, but now I need my stuff cloth. Because these are words that mean things. Oh. Hey, Hugh. Hi, Luya. Do you have any more stuff cloth for the treehouse? Oof. I'm too busy with today's laundry, I'm afraid. Did anyone ever teach you how to make a stuff cloth yourself? Perhaps you can craft it for Edwin and Ilma. All right. What's this one going to take? Turns out it's very easy to make, so we're all set. Cool. Stiff rope is currently a pinned idea. I don't think I need it to be, though. There we go. This is pretty. This is- oh. Okay, we got a dead zone problem. Where the camera's wandering. Okay. I'm trying not to spend too much time in the menu, but- it, Fuck! Oh no, I clicked on main menu! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've gone. I'm I'm blown back into the game. I've recalibrated my controller. That should hopefully be improved. It's now scrolling at a reasonable rate. All right, yeah. At, at this point, I gotta admit, like, I'd be remiss not to openly uh, address the element of like this interface is bad. <laughs> this could use some work. It's unfortunate. Uh, the controls are buried too, too many weird layers deep just to do really basic things like... Oh, it was, oh, I thought I was dead zoning again. Just just basic stuff like changing your sensitivity and inversion are... show They're really in really bizarre, obscure menus as opposed to, you know, every other menu I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, and wow. That's dangerous. <laughs> I, you really start to see the value of, uh, are you sure? When, uh, one button can instantly quit the game with no, no warning. 
There's many times where I get an, a little annoyed if the game is like, are you sure? But one of the times that it's worth being sh uh, questioning of, of that is a, a moment when you are quitting the game. It's not can go, Hugh. In this case, my save point just meant I had to recraft that item real quick, but it could, it could be so much worse depending on how the uh, saves and checkpoints are handled. Thank you, Hugh. Let's hope this does the trick. It will have to do. Our trees haven't been growing as fast as they should. So even Marwood will be in short supply soon. Then perhaps it's time to explore the lands below. We're not going into the out to find more. We all know that's not an option. Oh, so they don't, they don't go out. In any case, today is about celebrating the completion of this wonderful new treehouse. Let's wrap this up and have a ceremony. You, I can't find your brother anywhere. Could you uh, get him and come to the ceremony? He's probably in his corner, drawing out all that nonsense. Ah, is he going to be the... Res Oops. Ah, shit. Yeah, there yeah, is he gonna be the, uh, the resident, this, uh, head in the clouds character? The, the dreamer that thinks of a beautiful world beyond what we have now? Which becomes the basis of us going and, and actually striking out. Everyone thinks he's crazy, but then the Fire Nation attacks and we have to deal with, uh, the idea of actually going out there into the out. Yep, he's just sitting there staring at the out. Alright. No yum, you. Hey, Hugh. Jerry had me carry logs around all day, so I retreated for a bit. I think I just spotted another one of those white and slimy creatures below. If you squint your eyes hard enough. No thanks, I'm good. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> you should never look away. There's so much to explore and see. Well, not if it's up to Marla and Gary. Or Jerry, who knows. Ugh. <sighs> All they're concerned with is their treehouse and ceremonies. There must be more to the world than this, right? About the ceremony. It's starting soon. They wanted me to come and get you. Uh, he have it, Sigh. Well, let, there's still some time. Remember that strange construction I found that I told you about? I think I have an idea how to open it. I don't know, Amon. A mom. You know that Mar what Marla says about straying too far from home. Oh, come on, there's still some time before the ceremony. Meet me at the harvesting site, whenever you're ready, and I'll show you. He dreams of adventure, and yet, some, and yet I'm going to be the one that actually does it, judging by how games tend to work, unless I... unless something else happens. Like, I tragically die and then switch characters to a mom or something. But no, I, I think something might happen to a mom. Maybe something tragic, or he gets kidnapped. Like, maybe he dies tragically, and maybe everyone dies, and I need to go on a big adventure on my own. Despite being not the favorite child for wanting to do that. Or maybe he gets kidnapped, and I have to go save him. Or maybe something happens with the relic that, like, curses or poisons him or something, and I have to go out into the world to try to find a cure. The, the, I feel like we're definitely setting up for the irony of, like, the hesitant son having to go out into the world... Where the adventurous one probably doesn't. I knew you'd be interested. Well, I'm doing this for you. We should uh, quickly eat something before we go exploring. Grab some of the uh, meager yam over there. There are plenty of energy in no time. How do we stay alive on top of this mountain, by the way? Maybe I walked by the environmental storytelling that contextualizes it. Uh, uh, you know what? There's a bunch of water down there. I was just thinking about, like, how do we get a water? I imagine, we, I imagine we could farm or something up here, but how do we get water? But probably, they probably are willing to reach down to at least that, uh, pond down there. Even if they're not willing to leave this place. While adventuring, always keep an eye on your energy. Everything you do will deplete your energy little by little, so eating is vital to keep up your efficiency. You can eat any food you find in the world to replete your energy. Pin one item to your pin slot to select it for a quick bite by holding LB. Eating is done by pressing it quickly while in game. LB. Pin. Boom. 
And I'm all stocked up. All right, let's go and see what we can find. We'll be back before Marla has even turned her ancient head. Last one to eat two bowls of Marla stew. Sigh. It's the last one to get there. Blah, 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 blah. I'm in a flubbing mood today. Oh, there's a ton of this stuff. Looks like I can also collect this. Yeah, so as we can see, this is where the farming takes place. So that explains that part. And the lake likely explains the other part, and that's most of the things you need to actually survive, basically. We go this way. All right, here it is. I cleared away some of the bushes and found that round thing hanging there. And I figured we'd probably have to hit it with something, but throwing didn't do the trick. So behold, I made this slingshot. I'll let you do the honors. Let's see what happens. He doesn't just want to go on an adventure, he wants to share the adventure and get other people to check things out. How long has this been here if it's still a working contraption? Let's see what we'll find. I'm on wait. I mean, can you blame him? You're over here being an enabler. You're fulfilling his desires. There's a lever behind that. So some, some classic Skyrim and other games dungeon design where it's going to loop around in a circle and then once we accomplish our goal, I'll open a lever to shortcut back to the entrance. We've seen that a lot. Hey, Owen, Hugh. Check it out, Hugh. This looks like a real adventuring tool. There's another one. You should grab it. Oh, no, I'm going to kill him in a tragic idiot sparring contest. Turbanya. Look, if you swing it a few times, you look re you look really powerful. This is a strange way to tutorialize the concept of combos. The way it's being expressed is very confusing in 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 universe. And if you hold it uh, behind your head for a bit, then release, you'll do much heavier attack. You're saying you can hold it. We could kick it between attacks. And those slimy white creatures won't have anything against us. Thank you, tutorial brother. <laughs> Destroy. Got some cloth. What if we combine dashes? Yep. That's a little stabby stab. Check this one out. I thought he was gonna kill me. Did you just kill yourself in a cave-in? What? How did- Are you okay? Uh, Mom, are you alright? I'm fine, I just lost my balance. Whoops. That was exciting, but now I need to get out of here. Can you see a way out? There's a wooden door and a small note next to it. It says, left, left, right. Any ideas? I'll see what I can find. Oh, how did I do that? A hey, mom, can you hear me? Loud and clear. I'm blocked from this side too. What was it you said again? Left, left, right. Rapinha, rapinha, papinha.
up, down, left, right. Is this left? Hmm. I figured this was what they meant. Oh, whoops. I had already seen those, so I thought they were useful for something. But maybe they don't do anything? Or maybe there's some kind of cheat code. It worked! Let's see if, you, you, if I can open yours now. We're in like a we were here together situation. Except without the other human player. An old note, it says left, left, right. Not that old though, huh? Still readable paper, all the mechanisms still work. Like, this isn't a very old place. Not like ancient or anything. Phew, glad we got out of there. What do you say? Wanna go a bit, get, a bit further? I don't know, Mom, that was pretty close. We're still here, right? Come on, let's eat some food if you have any. If we can get going. All right. What was the purpose of that puzzle unless the unless the cave in was supposed to always happen? Wow, I've almost I almost starved to get to death just now. That burned down quick. Yao in Hugh. Check this out, Hugh. He's back to being green. In some conversations were both blue, but now his, his title card's green. Those figures look like humans. And that tall one. Whoa. He must be an adventurer who came from the out. Now he's blue again. Why is he why is his color keep changing? Oh no, that's me. My bad. And he seems to have left them again at some point. Could they be the humans of our cliff? Our ancestors? That can't be true. We have never been in the out, right? Well, who else could have made this drawing? It looks like they closed off this cave behind them. Not very well. Don't you get what this means, Hugh? It means humans were in the out at some point. We can return there someday. There must be more to those lands than those scary creatures we were told of, right? We should tell Marla what we found. And we should hurry to the ceremony, I think. You go ahead, I want to stare at this for a bit longer. I'll be right be with you. Hmm. So they're so isolationist they can't even consider the idea that they ever were outside, apparently. Which seems like a preposterous idea, but... That's what they were trained... That's what they're raised to think. I'm picking up food in here? Nothing in here should be edible at this point, if it's even vaguely old. Old enough for everyone to have apparently forgotten that you can be in the outside world. Although by everyone, I'm sure I mean... The young people, at least. The older people might have been around when this was normal. Oh, I just pressed A to jump. My bad. Did I miss something? No. Huh. I really thought that, that one th door I saw was the shortcut that you take at the end of the uh, at the end at the end of the temple, but it doesn't. S it seems like I'm supposed to actually just walk all the way back. What's up with that door then? You can actually tell that I hit the door- I hit the, uh, the lever. Game just doesn't really care. Or you can't push a lever that way. Anyway. This is not the intended thing, clearly. Wonder how you get behind there, though.
Oh, we've been naughty. You are incorrigible, mom. By taking young Hugh with you? Mother knows what could have happened in there. You know you should never leave the perimeter. Sorry, Mala, but we discovered what we... We, we did... I have no interest in whatever nonsense you found. You are very well aware that this is off limits, and you should stay inside the village like we always have. But that's exactly... Now, get back to the village. You're already late for the ceremony. Everyone's waiting for you two. You're right, little brother. She sure wasn't happy about that. We really do have to tell her about what we saw, though. Unless maybe she already knows. She's been here much longer than we have. Only one way to find out, but first, let's hurry to the ceremony. Come on, I want to get in a fight. <laughs> it's not really my impatience, it's just that I'm, I know I'm... Only have X amount of time to kind of do a little preview video. So I'd like to reach a part where you fight something. Just to get a feel for what that feels like before we run out of time. Games have pretty long intros these days, though. Alright, now that we're all finally here, the ceremony can officially begin. Thank you, Marla. As a tradition, I'd like to thank everyone for their efforts. Took a bit more work and resources than usual, but we did it again. Our new house stands tall and strong. We shall continue to expand our village. Our next house shall stand right next to this one, and it will be even bigger and more beautiful. I would now like to call forth Ilma and Khan to officially claim this treehouse as their own. And after that, we feast. Uh, I think I'll throw up if I sp smell another bowl of her, that dry stew of hers. I don't get why G Gary is so obsessed with it. It's almost like he wants these ceremonies just for the stew. He sure eats a lot of it. Would you look at that? Another ra round wooden treehouse. Aren't we creative? God forbid. Uh, mother forbid trying anything new for a change. If I ever become a uh, chief, we're definitely trying something new. Wow. I was expecting tragedy to strike, but that was incredibly abrupt. My god, it's a teddy bear. You've come from above, have you not? I always did have a hunch something must have been brewing up on that cliff. Never did I dare to imagine it would be humans. Dangerous place, that cliff. Here we call it the unsavable cliffs for good reason. Wow. 
It's known for being unstable, but we've lived there for generations, seemingly, without noticing that it's unstable. Okay, whatever. I can imagine the shock, fella, but you're not dreaming. Both of us might be trapped. Follow me. Um. Okay. We went from zero to furries, like, instantly. And some supplies. It's a neat little environment. But apparently humans are rare. So I guess everyone else I'm going to meet isn't one. I had a ba I had the bad luck of being here when that rumbling started. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, but who are you? The name is Oth, one of the Tambas. We travel, we study, we practice politics, and sometimes we get we are stuck. <laughs> we practice politics. Huh. I I was gonna say these are all really basic things that wouldn't really define a culture in any reasonable way. They're all really normal things that everyone would do, except that our people are weirdly defined by their lack of traveling. So I guess that part's new. But the politics, that's just society. I need to get this bridge fixed and get my Al uh, Alpafant back up there. So here's a suggestion. You help me get some marwood and stiff rope for the bridge and some food for my Alpafant and sh as she's hungry and I'll get you something for that blockade as I think that's going to be your way up. Looks pretty sturdy, but I recently invent uh, invented a thing just for that. Hmm. So we're going to we're going to split off. It sounds like I'm going to go back upstairs. He, he thinks that that blockade is going to be how I get back to where I came from. But he's going to go back on his merry way. Things do not seem to have gone well for my brother, who seems to have been taken out by a tree. So I guess it's only when we get back up there we'll have any idea if he even survived. Alright. I have my war marwood, my stiff rope, and my current. Easy enough. There we go. Neither of us are strong enough to actually rebuild this, but I'll find someone who can. Here's something to get you inside that cave. It's called an explosive keg, and it's not subtle. Hit it with some projectile, and that'll blow it right up. Be careful with it. I'm sorry, did you just say that neither of us are strong enough to actually rebuild the bridge that you need to leave this place, but you're going to find someone to do it? But... There's no way- that's the premise, is that we're stuck. There's no way out. How are you gonna find someone to- whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't want to pin it. Your only options are, are to only pin or to consume and pin, but in this case I only wanted to consume. I didn't want to pin it. That wasn't an option. Hmm. Whoop. There we go. I bet if I shoot you while I'm standing on this bridge... Yep. Make some forward progress. Ah. Uh -uh. I'm conditioned by God of War and the like to think I'd have to continually power it by shooting it over and over again, but it's a toggle. I am a god of fire. What? Oh, are you my first fight? W what? It doesn't seem too friendly. I wish your mom was here. He'd know what to do. I'll have to... Fight it. Is there a lock on? R3 will focus. Come on. Okay, cool. Hey, we finally saw combat. 
That might be the only one we get to do in this episode. Cool looking monster. Oh, pff, there it goes. <laughs> no, no death animation for now, I suppose. Ooh. Can I swing the fire at things? No? There we go. That was evidently mandatory. These torches are kind of neat, but they only seem to be useful for marking my progress to the area and looking kind of nice. I would almost want the level to look darker to justify the torches existing. Because it's always satisfying to light a bunch of torches to make your way through a really dark environment. But maybe, maybe later areas will be more dark, and this is our chance to be ready for that. So this is... Okay, so that's the door I saw earlier that confused me. It was for this story beat. Quick, we have to figure out whether he's dead or not. Oh, this place is a mess. Oh, Mother's mercy, you are safe. We thought we lost you for a moment. Are you hurt? How did you get back? Did you fall all the way to, into the out? I'm fine. My head hurts a bit. But I met this wondrous creature, Oth. He lives in the out. I feared as much. Did it hurt you? Were you attacked? No. No, it was very kind. He helped me get back here. He also knew about the bad state these cliffs are in. Where is a mom? I have to tell him what happened. Ew. The collapse wrought terrible havoc. Luya Edwin Jew did not survive. And neither did he, Hugh. But, he must have gotten away, right? He jumped away? He must be down there. We found him, Hugh. He must have pushed you away from the danger. We are so sorry. I was immediately right. The adventurous guy that wanted to always go out dies, and then I'm going to be the one that goes out. I don't believe you. He must be around. A mama's strong. Oh, This is sad. Well, there goes all my emotional connection to these, this place. Even the, even the person that I built the house for also is dead. I have like almost no characters to be attached to besides some old lady. Who... Is the primary reason nobody wants to leave, it seems? Find a bomb at his lookout. Aw, oh, what a hopeful, sad achievement. I mean, objective. This is his map. He was going to map the whole world. You, please come back to town. We know what you are going through. We have to start rebuilding. We will need everyone's help in that. A mom would have helped too. No. A mom would have made sure we find a better place to live than these cliffs. Hugh, there is no other place to live. The out is not an option. It never has been. That's not true. We told you. Humans were in the out before. Do not believe those nonsense drawings, you see. We are too weak to simply walk out to the outskirts. Please come back to the square, Hugh. We will figure this out. We will not. Because I am sad, and you are all bullshit.
That's what I thought. We're immediately not interested in going back. It's time for the adventure. Took a while. Well, here we are. You are now an exploration area, which I assume is the rest of the game. And here's my map. Ooh, you can walk around with the map open. What are those? Are you friendly? They're biz <laughs> They all like got down to hide from me in the in the bushes. They're trying they're trying to be stealthy. That's funny. Oh, it's that's actually really beautiful out here. Oh, it must be a puffy. A puffle. Friendly? What's that? Wait, what is that? Are you a little raccoon person? What are you? Oh, I don't think he likes me. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I think it's hostile. You don't need- Oh, that's not nice. Is he a coyote or a fox? Look at all the little animal people everywhere. Oh, no. They're killing- Oh, the other- Oh, this game is- this Oh, I'm- You should run away, dude. Dude, run. They're gonna destroy you with their acid mortars? Oh. Oh, sad dog noises. I don't like that. I will benefit from this, though. I gather a token. And some weird orb. Okay. So right off the bat, we have little puffy creatures. We've got, like, fox people that run around and use smoke bombs and throw mortars at you. Like, they th th throw barrels as attacks and they sprint around. You got these tribes of, like... Geckos, I think, that shoot acid out of their mouths and kind of hilariously scream at you. <laughs> Combat's a little awkward. But, but, ow, Jesus, this is very dangerous. Oh, hi. <gasps> could you not? Could you not? Instead of doing this, could you not? Oh boy. They're so mad at me. What is that? Oh, that's the crocodile looking thing that I saw on the loading screen. The big old lizard. Do you guys get along with each other? Seems like you do. Look at that! What is that? What is- what is that? Oh, it's like a moose or something. Okay, so the reptiles seem to not get along with the herbivores, or the carnivores. I can't get a good look at that guy, because he's hostile and being attacked by those things. I need to leave. Right, I'm supposed to be... I'm supposed to be eating, so I'm more efficient, is what they said. You'd think you'd be dying from lack of eating, but I guess not. Are they all hostile? Look at this, they, they got- they got like a chieftain. It's like- they're like Torin. Oh yeah, they are- there is a moose. Oh. Why hostile? You know what, maybe they're right. Maybe it is really dangerous to be outside <laughs> as a human. They're not- they're not happy to see me. This is immediately so much more interesting than running around seeing all the weird little creatures. It's a clunky indie game, but it might scratch some of that Breath of the Wild Breath of the Wild itch for some people. Like it looks really interesting. The Concave Mountains. I'm definitely not even interested in my object in my objective right now. I just want to want wander around a little bit because we're it's about it's time I'm I'm over time on this episode at this point. 
But I just want to—I I didn't want to get this far and then not look at the world. Good color palette. Oh, another fat, another fat alligator monster thing. Leave me be. Ask not, I did for trouble. I like the puffles. Look at them. Look at them. Hey. Yeah, they're not hostile. There's weird little puffy little things like toucan flamingos. They try to just, I think they just try to find a bush and hide in it or yeah. <laughs> Seems they'll hide if they think it'll work. Although, if you want to hide, the initial scream was a little counterproductive. Ah! And that seems to be one of the creatures we saw earlier. Ooh, giant hook. The fishing area down there. Ow! You can do that? Okay, I'm gonna die. Combat's actually kind of hard. Look at this thing. Like a giant fishing pole. This one almost seems to be like it's like it's on display to show you that this is the fishing area. Someone must run this place, right? Can they be friendly, unlike everyone else? Or maybe I won't find anyone. <gasps> no! Oh, this is some weird physics right here. Oh, well, that's not good. I don't want to go in the ocean. I don't want to go down there at all. I feel like I should be worried. Well, this is unfortunate. <laughs> is it glowy thing up there? Oh, it's one of those orbs I got. All right, well, this is probably where I'm gonna call it then. Thanks for watching, like always, guys. If you want to check out Pine, there's a link in the in this uh, description of this video for the Steam page. As per usual, this uh, thank you to the the uh, developer for uh, giving me a code so I can preview their game. Thanks for watching, like always, guys, and I'll see you next time. Y'all should have made an invisible wall. Well, that's trippy.